So welcome back to Noodle Week and these flat rice noodles were a bit of an extra recipe because they were so easy to make I really thought that you guys would want to know how to make them. So uh, to start off with, I am mixing some rice flour with either sweet potato starch or potato starch. Recipe is all going to be down below, but in general, the kind of the ratio is about one part potato starch to about eight parts uh, of rice flour. And I'm adding in my water in batches. I'm gonna put in about half first and just to make sure that everything is nice and um, smooth before I add in the rest because that's the secret to not having lumps in this batter. And just like that, we are ready to steam. So I have a steamer going on at about medium high heat. And the easiest way that I think that you guys can do this is to just take a cake pan. If you have a square cake pan, even better. Um, and I'm just oiling the bottom because these noodles do get sticky. Now there is a method for doing this oil free and what people do afterwards is they dip the whole sheet, the, the whole pan in water and then kind of slowly release it that way. Um, I thought this method was probably a little more accessible for everyone. So uh, we're, we're doing it with oil, but know that you can, you can do it without. And I usually have to adjust the pan a little bit because if you have a little tilt on your counter, this can somewhat be an issue. So this is going to steam for, I'd say medium high, um, a minute to two minutes. You'll know when it's done because it has gone a little bit clearer before it was kind of more opaque and murky. And so carefully using some gloves, you wanna take this out, maybe let it rest on the counter for 30 seconds to a minute so that you can, um, so that you can take it out. And then I'm going to oil the plate that I'm putting it on as well because these noodles get very, very sticky. So you can either put oil or really like a fair amount of water, just making sure that everything is wet. Uh, it functions somewhat similarly. And then you just wanna take a spatula and you really don't have to get the whole thing off, just a good bit of one side because afterwards it just, it just peels off. Now, a second way to do this is to just put the pan um, straight into the steamer first, and then that might be a little bit easier for you guys to put the pan in, and then you just put the batter in afterwards. But um, remember always to stir the batter before you pour it in because the, the starches will settle to the bottom. And especially important is uh, to make sure that you don't make the each layer too thick. If you make it too thick, it starts getting hard and then it starts cracking and then it's not foldable. It doesn't, it's not really like noodle-y as much. So these are not thin by any means, but just, uh, just a warning of not making them uh, overly, overly thick.
So there they are, these flat rice noodles, super quick, super easy to make. I'd say that they last in the refrigerator for about a week. Um, and I've also had them frozen before. They actually, they freeze okay. It's not, it's not like fresh, but it actually uh, does pretty well. And you can put it into different stir fries. It can be uh, mixed with soup bases as well. And it's absolutely delicious. Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this recipe and that you all decide to experiment with these noodles. I mean, we use potato starch for this one, but I've seen people use cornstarch, arrowroot. Um, it's, it's just a little bit of a playing around of textures. So um, I hope you guys all enjoy. There's one more tomorrow and that's gonna be actually uh, potato starch noodles. So a very cool one and um, yeah, make sure to tune in for that and I will see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye.